the screen in front of you. He put something in it. He's been guarding it carefully since he arrived so that I could gather not a peek in that box. He tried twice. I caught him. Yeah, well, I, I was trying to, you know, relieve him, you know, because he had his grandson in his arms. So, you know, I thought it might help him out, but... Hi. Hi. Speaking of him. So, Gary, can I have the box sure. now? Am I, am I allowed now? Yes, you are. Oh, that's heavy. Yes, it is. All right, and now, since we're rapidly approaching the season of Advent, which means preparing for Christmas, right? That means, in preparation of gifts, I always like to shake the box, but I don't know if I should. I would say carefully. I'm going to say I'm not. <laughs> Anytime somebody says, carefully, but you know, it's an antique. You're close. I'm close. It's, it, it doesn't feel alive. I hope it's not alive. It's definitely not alive. Definitely not. Thank goodness. Well, I think I should open it up, guys. Not anymore, yes. Um, I'm going to give that to Kevin to hold up. Hold that way up. Stand up. There you go. I'm sure they all get a good look at it. And, and then tell me what that is, Kevin. I have no idea. He has no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. It's a big hunk of metal. I would, I would like to tell you what it is. I, I think I have a guess, but go ahead. It is a uh, 1948 Ford Model 59 two-barrel carburetor. See, I thought carburetor. I just didn't know the rest of that. Do you have the rest of the Ford to go with that? I wish I had. <laughs> Does anybody else here have the rest of the Ford to go with this great carburetor right here? Do you think it would work? Absolutely. It would work, even though it was 1948, so that is... 70, 70 years, years old, old today. Today. Thank you, Ford Motor Company. Yep. <clears throat> I won't tell you what I've heard that Ford stands for. That's all right. I've heard many times. <laughs> I say that, but if I may, anyway, I digress. 1948, so how many of you up here were alive in 1948? I'm not asking the audience, anybody in the congregation. Anybody here? You, you were totally not born yet? I was totally not born yet. Your grandparents weren't even born yet in 1948, Tim and Dan. That carburetor was born two years before me. I wasn't going to make any... I'm just saying. You're, wasn't gonna I'm say younger any, than the carburetor. You are. question is, what's in better condition? <laughs> <laughs> the carburetor's in better shape than I am. I guarantee yeah, Nice, it's, very nice. I, I guarantee good. it's yeah. in better shape than I am. I can guarantee that. So does anybody know what a carburetor does? Ooh, Kevin? ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. I'm really trying to get here with this. Yeah, okay. Kevin, any idea? Wow, we really need to school you on how an wow. internal combustion engine works. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, this mixes the air and fuel in the car, right? Correct. Hey, I paid attention. You did. I'm proud of you. You think me, carburetor? Cars are all fuel injected now. Right? That's correct. <laughs> anyway, um, this is probably the first and only time I will hold the carburetor in my hand. It's your lucky day. It is. It is. So I think it's very important. So it mixes the right mixture of fuel and air because you have to have both of those to make an internal combustion engine work. Very good. I have an engineering degree. I am so proud. I want to hear. And so, what happens if you have too much air or too much fuel in this? Ah, and it could flood it, or you're not going to get it, you're ultimately, you're not going to get, that's what you want. You want ignition. That's really what an internal combustion engine is, Danny. It's a controlled series of explosions that move pistons that connect to it. Yeah, I'm not going to get all, yeah, to all that. Anyway, if you don't have those explosions, your engine's not working <laughs> and your car goes nowhere. But if you have the right mixture, you can go anywhere. And that's like, this is really getting heavy. I bet it is. 
And that's like, that's why we come here. We come here to get the right mixture of spiritual fuel and support from others to gain that understanding of the Bible. And in the Bible, we talk about the living word. You know, Jesus described himself as the, the bread, the living bread. My body broken for you. My blood shed for you. We need that right mixture of spiritual fuel to make sure that we are that explosion that goes out into the world. And we can go anywhere and do anything God wants us to do with that. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear God, whether we're fuel injected or carburetors, please give us the spiritual fuel that we need to go out into the world and do your work. Give us the energy and excitement and joy and love that we need to make that happen. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Who's going to follow?